Hey everybody, welcome back to Five to Proud. This is my name is Iguard to Kill and welcome back to another video. So, last Monday, not this Monday, the Monday before, I adopted Squeak. If you don't know about Precious or the news, there'll be the last video um, on this channel, so go check it out, link will be below. Let's just look on my uh, channel. But, so like it's been over a week. Um, how is he settling in? So this video is just going to be a bit more information about Squeak himself because I didn't really get to go over it in the adoption process video. And how is he getting along with Pierre? What issues am I having? Um, anything that needs to be worked on? This is Pierre. So yeah, so I just go through it with you while I'm um, showing off how they are. Right now, okay, so Squeak loves this pumpkin. Hey gorgeous, hello. So yeah, Squeak will be one. Um, in May. We don't know the exact birthday, but they said it'd be likely um, end of April, beginning of May. So I'm guessing it's birthday as the 5th of May, just because. <laughs> yeah, so he turns one soon. Um, he had a brother called um, Bubble, Bubble and Squeak. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, the reason they got separated is because um, Squeak was quite badly bullied by his brother. Um, his brother's a lot bigger and would terrorise him quite a bit. And so he has to be separated. He's still got some anxiety issues. Um, he can be a bit nippy. Well, but actually, he's only nipped me once. Isn't he? Hello. You've only nipped me once, haven't you? Um, so he's actually doing really well in regards to his anxiety like with people. Like I so said, he's only nipped me once. And other than that, he's approached me he's been you know very interested in me climbing all over me and he's let me hold him um quite a bit so that's all good um in terms of how he's interacting with pierre there's been a lot of rough play um i've had to separate them quite a few times because there's been um poop involved usually i'm pretty sure it's squeak because when they start rough playing i find it quite hard to tell who started it but i'm pretty sure it's pierre because he's been very um <laughs> playful like he's always been playful but he's so much more playful right now and as you can see he tends to go to him a lot because he just wants to play so i imagine pierre starts it so there's been some instances i've been i think two times now where rough play hasn't i've had to separate them because squeak has pooped um which if you don't know the general rules with play fighting and ferrets is as long as there's no poop no blood no pee they're fine like they might play rough but as long as none of those three things it should be fine um, this is him underneath it. He loves, he loves the ball pit. He loves it so much. Don't you? <laughs> but yeah, so there's a couple of times I did have to separate them because of that. Um, there have been a few times I've had to separate them because I've noticed that um, Squeak actually has some uh, cuts, some like blood, bloody scratches on his neck, which obviously no blood, you don't want blood. They will, sometimes in rough play, they can hurt each other, but it shouldn't be bleeding because that suggests it's gone too far. And although he hasn't been like actively bleeding, they are still red and sore and there is some blood, so obviously I have to separate them. When this happens, I will, like I said, I separate them. I immediately take Pierre away because he's usually when he starts it. And I sort of cold squeak for a bit. I give him some salmon oil to calm him down. I'll do that with Pierre as well just to make sure that he chills out a little bit as well. Um, at, see, this is what I mean. At, the thing is, here's the other thing. Whenever they have this play fighting, I will remove Pierre, but then squeak goes after more. So that, that was fine. That, just then, was just regular rough play. However, like I said, sometimes it goes too far. I'll remove Pierre, but then Squeak goes back in for more play, which suggests that I think it's just him being young and him being overly excited. It's just sort of getting things a bit, um, a bit overexcited, if you will, which obviously can be an issue because they go too far and they don't mean to. But the good thing is, I don't think Squeak is being bullied here because although Pierre is the one going after him, Squeak is going back for more and he's holding his ground. Like, although, like I said, Pierre will go first, Squeak will hold his ground. So I'm not overly worried. I think it's a case of they're new, they're still, they're still bonding. He's young, he's overexcited. Um, so that's been some of the issues we've had. Um, trying to think. Like I said, I've discovered that he does like the ball pit. 
<laughs> he really likes the ball pit. Hello. Hello, what are you doing in there? He really likes the ball pit. He likes a pumpkin. He likes... What's really funny is that he is ever so slightly bigger than Pierre. Not by much, but ever so slightly. But he can fit into like some of the little gaps that Pierre can't. Like this little gap behind, between the wall and this. Can't you? Yeah. And this gap underneath the radiator, which is quite nice because it's actually his little go-to spot if he needs like some time away from Pierre, because Pierre can't get to him. So it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Because I am a bit worried because there are, you can't really see on camera, but there are some cuts on, his, on the back of his neck. I have tried to clean them, but he doesn't really want me touching the back of his neck, understandably. So I just make sure to give him plenty of salmon oil, make sure to separate them when they start playing too much, so it doesn't get to the point where it's bleeding. It's really... It's really just about keeping an eye on these when they start, making sure that um, we've had some poop. Right, one moment. Right, so as you just saw, there was some poop involved. <laughs> um, so what I've done, put Pierre in the cage for just a moment to keep him, um, just to calm him down, really. And give, give Squeak a moment. Just, let me just look. So what I'm going to do, like I said, give the PM the case just to help him calm down a little bit. So give Squeak some salmon oil just to, again, help him calm a little bit and help get him to trust me a bit more. His anxiety issues with humans have not been that bad with me. Uh, like I said, he hit me once, but to be fair, I kind of had it coming. I was still playing with my hands. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's been doing really good with me. It's just, yeah. <laughs> so... With Balthazar, I never really had any issues with this because Balthazar is a very chill ferret. He, well, he's playful, but not really playful, playful. Um, hello, sorry, you want to go? Okay. So yeah, I never really had these issues with him and Pierre. So I'm well aware that like I might be doing something wrong here. And if you have any advice on bonding ferrets that are very excitable and playful, please let me know. I'm happy to take any advice, really. Um... And I'll, I'll reach out to the community on Instagram and ask for advice there as well, so you, um, you can collate it all and hopefully make a video on it. Um, but yeah, so I'm aware that it's it's been a weird process this week, just trying to get the balance between letting them play and bond, and splitting them up when it gets too far, but wanting when it is too far, like sometimes... I think squeaks ducking sometimes sounds like squealing and I don't want to interrupt their play if they are having fun because it sounds like they're not. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole thing, but um, I'm hoping I'm doing right. And if not, again, I'm happy. Please tell me, you know, I'm not allowed to like make my ferrets' lives not great just because I don't want to admit I'm wrong. <laughs> and like I said, I don't, Pierre <laughs> was my first ferret. And um, that's all of my second, this is my third. So, you know, I am still learning and that's okay. It's okay to admit that you're still learning and that you need some extra advice. What are you doing? All right, shall we have your brother back out? Shall we? For the record, I know this cage is small, but only... What are you doing? What are you doing? They only stay in it during the night. They come out during the day and free roam. Just because while, while they are still in the intermediate like you know play fighting and just playing i want to make sure that there's no issues overnight that's my main thing so at the end of playtime i will put them in the cage together and see if they calm down and cuddle maybe but we haven't had that yet they have kept play fighting really rough so i haven't had haven't had i have not been able to have them chill in the same cage yet hello gorgeous so yeah uh, that's how things are going really um i'm trying to figure out really what the next step is because i don't think there's i can't tell if there's an improvement in the, in the rough play yet because it's only been a week and obviously ferrets bonding and settling in can take weeks it can take months so i i'm just it's just the fact that i was used to Balthazar who settled in 
from day one no issues no bonding issues at all so it really is just a get, getting used to a process and learning for everyone involved <laughs> um i don't think yeah <laughs> so yeah um any advice is welcome guys okay, so you be good you be good guys any advice is welcome and i'll be doing an updated like meet the ferret video meet the ferrets video because obviously things have changed um which will have nice a lot of background info on the two of them and some information and whatnot um, but for now, like I said, I think things are alright, things are sturdy. They will happily play, it's just I need to separate them when things get too far. Keeping an eye out for the, you know, pee, poo, blood signs, which like like I said, there haven't been many. There's only been three of each in like a week, which is pretty good. <laughs> now they're in the tunnel together. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for today, actually. So yeah, I, I have a lot of videos planned, it's just I was waiting for um, Squeak to settle in more before I start filming him and shoving a camera in his face. And I wanted to make sure that they were settling in together and bonding a bit more before I start filming the two of them together. Um, any advice about bonding to ferrets, let me know. I might make a video on it, collate some information. And I might do a video on like pl play fighting and rough play, what the difference is, um, what to look out for. You know, just like informational videos for new owners or you know, people like me who just need to learn really. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm probably going to include some clips at the end here of Squeak and um, Pierre playing because they're cute. <laughs> um, so enjoy these clips and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!